If you've ever wondered how to add blur to the background of your videos, well, it's pretty simple to do using this technique. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use green screen in Valorant and then key out all that green so you're left with just a nice foreground element. I also want to give a quick shout out to Arab on TikTok for finding out about this green screen here on Ascent. Without him, it would take a lot longer to do this. So make sure you follow him on TikTok and say thank you. Now, the first thing that you want to do is go into a custom game. If you want to get a third person perspective of someone, queue up with a friend and watch them in observer mode. We're just going to be collecting footage of a weapon skin. The one thing that you do want to make sure is that you have your cheats turned on because we need to go into ghost mode and you can leave the map on ascent. So before we get started, let's do a couple things. The first one is that we have to turn off our UI. So we're going to go into settings, general, and then we're going to scroll down until we see hide user interface in game. We're just going to check that and there you go. But we also want to turn off our crosshair. So let's go to crosshair and then disable crosshair. We also want to pause the match timer. And then My we're just going to check all of these so that way our life is going to be a little easier. And the last thing that you want to do is go into your graphics and turn off bloom. Make sure you know what your bind is to go into ghost mode and then fly up into the air. And we're going to find this wall right here. This is going to act as our green screen. So let's uh, get in close. And now all you have to do is record yourself using whatever you want in the foreground. So unfortunately, Riot just patched the glitch that you could do to respawn without hands. So that means the only way to get a background image or any sort of cinematic without your hands is to queue up into a custom game with a friend and you go into observer mode. But luckily, I already have a background video, so I'm just going to use that. Now, you might be asking yourself, why are we going to use a green screen instead of masking? Well, it's for a few reasons. One, green screening is really easy. We literally just use an eyedropper tool and this background goes away. The other thing is that when you're dealing with complicated images like this, where we have a lot of motion, but more importantly, we have this smoke effect. Masking becomes very difficult to do because it doesn't account for opacity. So because we have this smoke, we can't actually blur behind it. So in order to get rid of the green screen here, all we have to do is go into the fusion tab. Now, once you have media in one selected, what you can do is hit shift space to bring up the select tool page and you're going to type in Delta Keyer. Once that's added to your pipeline, what you want to do is go to your inspector, select this eyedropper tool and bring it over to your green screen and look at that. It's already gone. Now, if we look closely, might not appear here, ah, just a little bit. We have just the smallest edge around our hand, a little bit around the magazine and this probably won't get noticed, but what we can do is clean this up by adjusting some settings. If we head over to Matt and we adjust our low threshold, just increase it a little bit. You can start to see that line is disappearing now. And we're just going to bring it up until it goes all the way away. And we should be good now. So let's just kind of go through double check, make sure everything is gone. Looks pretty good. Nothing that we want is gone either. And there you go. So now that we have the green screen removed, we can head back over to the edit tab and take this video and pop it into video track number two and place it on top of our background. And if we play this back, you can see now we have the vandal skin successfully added into our background. Now, the last thing that we have to do is actually blur our background out. And that's really easy to do. You could do something like go into the effects tab and then 
find filters and now we have all of these different blurs that we can apply so here let's do this and we're just going to add a simple gaussian blur here but i'm not really a big fan of gaussian blur or any of the other blurs that you'll find in the effects library here i like to use depth blur and in order to do that we have to go back into the fusion tab so same thing let's bring up the select tool page shift space and then we're going to type in depth blur there we go right now it looks like nothing has been done but all we have to do is adjust our focal point you can start to see the image is blurring and then just bring up blur size and if we head back over to the edit tab now we got this really interesting looking blur and there you go you just added blur to your videos all it took was a little bit of planning and then about two seconds of work as always if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i will do my best to reply to all of them you can also find me on other platforms it is fart doctor on everything if this video helped give it a thumbs up so i can know and i'll catch you in the next one